But the first thing you have to do, the most important thing, is to be able to have some hand action. That's the, the hardest thing for people to do. They want to control their swing with their body. The, the pros on tour, they have an arm swing and a hand action that moves at a particular pace that their body can support. The amateurs, on the other hand, they try to swing as fast as they can with their body, and then they let their arms support that swing. And so, in effect, what happens is that these small muscles are supporting the big ones, and so they slow down, and you're not able to hit the ball as far. If you can get yourself in a position where you can ever release the club like that with a full swing, you're set to hit the ball an awful That's long way. That's where ways. the power is there. That's exactly where the power is at the bottom. You have to have the hand action. What we're trying to do here, I'm standing close with my feet together. I'm not going to make an arm swing at all, but all I'm going to do is cock my wrist and then uncock it a little bit like that. And those shots right there are as solid as any of you guys have seen me hit on the golf course today. Obviously, they're not very far because I'm not putting much power into it. I'm not using my arms. I'm not using my body. All I'm using is my hands, but I'm making very solid contact. Now, if you can't do that, Right off the bat, you're never going to hit the ball as far as you can. You have to be able to make this solid contact just by cocking your wrist and uncocking it. Now, after you can do that, so to speak, after you pass the first grade, then we'll go to the second grade. And you'll notice as she's swinging that it's just a smooth, uninterrupted motion back and through, just like the golf swing. Back and through. Well, the golf swing is just like when Kristen was swinging. It's an uninterrupted motion back and forward. Very smooth. There isn't any type of chopping or scooping action. It's an uninterrupted motion, back and forward. The ball just kind of gets in the way of the swing when you make it right. To give you a clear picture of how the swing relates to this target line, I've drawn an arc. You will see that when I swing, that my arms, hands, and shoulders swing back over my right shoulder around the arc down through and around over my left shoulder. The swing is not a lineal movement down the target line. This will cause you to chop or to scoop it. So remember to swing back over the right shoulder, down through and over the left. Basically, you have three sources of power. You have your wrist action, your hand action through the ball. You have your arm swing. And then finally, you have the motion that your body makes. And to really hit the ball as far as you can and to your maximum potential, you have to be able to use all three of those. And a lot of times, you'll see guys that are just swing their arms and body. And they might be able to make fairly solid contact, but you can see there's not a whole lot of power there. And uh, then you'll uh, see people that are try to control it. They won't use their body much at all and they just use their arms and hands. And again, there's not a whole lot of power. So really you have to put all three of those things in there. But the first thing you have to do, the most important thing, is to be able to have some hand action. That's the, the hardest thing for people to do. They want to control their swing with their body. The, the pros on tour, they have an arm swing and a hand action that moves at a particular pace that their body can support. The amateurs, on the other hand, they try to swing as fast as they can with their body, and then they let their arms support that swing. And so, in effect, what happens is that these small muscles are supporting the big ones, and so they slow down, and you're not able to hit the ball as far. If you can get yourself in a position where you can ever release the club like that with a full swing, you're set to hit the ball an awful That's long way. That's where ways. the power is there. That's exactly where the power is at the bottom. You have to have the hand action. What we're trying to do here, I'm standing close with my feet together. I'm not going to make an arm swing at all, but all I'm going to do is cock my wrist and then uncock it a little bit like that. 
And those shots right there are as solid as any of you guys have seen me hit on the golf course today. Obviously, they're not very far because I'm not putting much power into it. I'm not using my arms. I'm not using my body. All I'm using is my hands, but I'm making very solid contact. Now, if you can't do that right off the bat, you're never going to hit the ball as far as you can. You have to be able to make this solid contact just by cocking your wrist and uncocking it. Now, after you can do that, so to speak, after you pass the first grade, then we'll go to the second grade. And that's when you start using the same hand action, but you're going to put a little bit of an arm swing to it. Again, I'm going to put my feet together where I cannot use my body too much, but this time I'm going to give myself a little bit more of an arm swing. But again, I'm going to have the same setting of the angle of my hands up here. I'm going to have the same release as I come through, and the swing's just going to be a little bit bigger. And as you can see, I can generate an awful lot of speed with just my arms <laughs> yeah. and hands. Just just Nobody actually bigger, at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, it, you know, it's really very effortless. You know, we hear a lot of comments on tour about, golly, they make it look so darn easy. You know, it's kind of like watching Dr. J on the basketball court. He makes it look so easy because everything's moving exactly where it should be going. You know, he's got everything under control. Well, Alan, using those wrists, is it is it a centrifugal motion or are you consciously uncocking your hand? Well, now it's unconscious. I don't even have to think about it now. It just comes on my Because I have worked on it enough. But when I was uh, first working on my swing, I used to hit balls by the hour this way, just to feel my arms and hands release, right. just to make solid contact. Now, you know, after I get to where I can make pretty solid contact swinging easy, now I can start generating a lot of speed, hitting the ball fairly hard with my arms and hands, mm -hmm. and really popping it out there. And, you know, I can hit the ball probably 85 or 90 percent of the distance that I do just using my arms and hands. Now, you know, after I've gotten that, then I can start widening my stance, using my body a little bit more, which allows me to swing a little faster, make a little bit more solid contact on the ball. And those are the three things. And after that, you know, then it's, then it becomes a relatively easy game. <laughs> Just yeah, nailing I see it what out you there. mean now.